Hi, this is Edmund here from Education Republic. Go big or go home. I've seen too many salespeople who struggle so much in sales, who set pitiful goals, small goals, and they go home. I'm sure you're not one of them. I've met many successful salespeople who when they set goals, they have two things going for them. They have character, number one, and number two, they have competence. So when they set goals, they have character and competence. Character because these people, these successful salespeople dare to dream big. Okay, they dare to dream about a better life for themselves, for their family, for their friends, for their relatives, for their entire generation. They dare to dream big because they have the character for it. I also have met a lot of successful salespeople who have the character because they believe in themselves. They believe that they can achieve their big goals, their big dreams. So that's character. How about competence? Now, I've met many successful salespeople who have the competence because they continually learn new sales skills every single time about what to be, the person they need to be when it comes to becoming a salesperson, what they need to say in front of the customer and with themselves in front of the mirror and they learn what to do as a salesperson. So, character and competence. So, set big goals. And the easiest way to do this is by following the SMART system. Now, if you're a salesperson and you set goals, you probably know what the SMART system is. S-M-A-R-T. S stands for specific. Make sure when you set goals, you set goals that are specific. That means you know exactly what it is, what it sounds like, what it feels like, what it looks like. All right? So specific doesn't mean I want to make more money. What's that? I mean, it's more money, one dollar? Is more money a thousand dollars? Is more money a hundred thousand, a million dollars? What is it? So make sure you're specific about your goals. No wishy-washy, no dilly-dally, no, no feathers attached to it, okay? Specific. M, what does M stand for? M stands for measurable. Make sure if you set any goals, you can measure them because what you cannot measure, you cannot achieve, right? So A, A is achievable. Now make sure when you set goals, you can achieve them. Now, there's a caveat, okay? There's a rule to this in that when I say achievable, make sure it's slightly unachievable because only slightly unachievable goals are exciting and decide if it's already achievable, by now you probably would have achieved them, right? So that's A, achievable. R, now what is R? R is kind of like A, you know, so I'm, I'm not even going to go through that. What's T? T is time framed. Make sure when you set a goal, you know when you're supposed to achieve it. Example, all right, I want to be financially independent. Okay, sure, by when? By 70, a bit too late, right? By 40, by 30, by next year? Why not? Make sure it is, it has T on it. That is time framed. Because without this time frame, you cannot push yourself to achieve these goals. So if you're gonna set big goals for yourself, set it the smart way. There's just one method, but the smart way works. S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, achievable, R is kind of like achievable as well, and T, time-framed. And remember, when you set goals, don't just set it and leave it alone, you gotta look at your goals every single day. How do you do that? You paste them up, simple. You make all these goals, you create, pic I mean, you collect pictures of them, you paste them everywhere. You put them in your cupboard, in your ceiling, in your wall, on the mirror of your toilet when you're brushing your teeth everywhere, place them in your car, put them in your wallet, so that every day you can look at your goals and be reminded about why are you being a salesperson. And tell your boss, tell your colleagues, tell people that you trust, that you like, who will support you, so that when they see you going sideways, they can pat your back and say, Oi! What happened to your goals? And that pushes you a little bit further. So partner with positive people. 
Take the gym for example. Let's get out of sales for a minute. Take the gym. If you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, if you want to gain muscles, if you want to be healthier, make sure you partner with positive people to do this with you and set smart goals. And only then can you achieve your results in the gym. When you set big goals, you go big. When you set big goals, you are excited, you are ecstatic. You look forward to your career in sales because you set big goals. Not small little pitiful goals. You know, don't set goals like, I want to pay my bills. How exciting is that? So set big goals. Because if you set small goals, you end up going home. No point in doing sales anymore. And you'll be setting up. If you set big goals, if you set smart goals, you'll be setting, up, setting yourself up for long-term success.